There was once a period in time before erections were invented. There was also a period in time before televisions had hundreds of channels. And when I was growing up, my television only had a hundred channels, and the majority of them were static because you were accidentally picking up some fucking alien transmissions through the tube TV antenna. And during this time, there was a hobby known as channel surfing. I'm sure that's a dead art now, because now when you have friends come over and shit and you don't know what to do, well, you can pop back, play some games with your gamer bros and give each other Dorito enemas and all that cool shit. But back then, what you would do is you would surf the channels looking for shit to watch. Comedy Central, after like 2 a.m., would just start playing censored Girls Gone Wild. There'd be a lot of Spanish stations playing some news and shit, but what would always happen is you'd end up watching a C-SPAN broadcast. Now, what I'm about to show you has no relation to C-SPAN in any regard, really. However, it does personally remind me of those times watching C-SPAN broadcasts. Hello, my name is Lisa. I just moved here because I'm getting a divorce. Now, Lisa has shown up to a council meeting where they're asking for input from the community for some upcoming decisions they're making, and Lisa is now speaking her piece. The most important character to focus on during this manga arc is the old man in the background. He is a very important character to the development of the plot. And it's not final till September 18th. My husband will not give me any money. Not one penny. It's a shitty husband and you're better off without him, honestly, Lisa. It's time that you get on Tinder. You're gonna find some good guys on Tinder, and let's say Tinder doesn't pan out for you. There's always RuneScape. There's some real upstanding good gentlemen on that game. The lawyer won't help me. My husband won't help me. My dad, Marlon Lee Whitmer, he's a minister, won't help me. This is really when the old man starts falling apart here. He's trying so hard to hold it in, but his armor is cracking, and beneath that armor is a giggling demon. And out of context, there's really no reason why he should be laughing at this. It's very unfortunate, the situation Lisa's going through. However, as the anime continues to develop, you'll start to realize that maybe this isn't the time and place to be talking about such things. My stepmother won't help me. My mother passed away seven years ago, and my dad and Annie Hockhausen, they wrote at Vera French that they both are my parents. Annie is my stepmom. Lisa is fucking coming for scalps here. She's name dropping all of them, putting them on blast. I wouldn't be surprised if she pointed to a DJ booth and said, kick that shit, and then started a diss track on him. I'm not quite sure why I'm here or what I'm doing. Well, I'll be. Butter my nipples. Lisa, that comes as a shock to me. I never got that feeling at all during this fucking Oscars acceptance speech. But there's a reason. My lawyer is Justin Title. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. The Justin Title? No, I can't say I have, Lisa, to be honest with you. For some reason, though, that name Justin Title sounds like a Fortnite player to me. Like, I imagine Lisa walked into the lawyer's office and he's like, just hold on right there, miss. Hits a fucking fat dab and then says, are you ready to get these dubskis in court? I'm moving down to Texas soon to help the children in Texas. I'm a very loving parent. Very, very, very loving parent. I have a 20-year-old daughter. She's going to college at St. Ambrose this fall. She's in Muscatine College right now. Her name's Brianna Elizabeth. Man, that elderly gentleman is trying so hard to keep it together. I feel bad for him because it looks like he just came into the council meeting to catch some hard Z's and just fall asleep through it. But now there's this monkey wrench that's been thrown into his plan, this X Factor, because Lisa's now left the set of Parks and Recreation to come to the council meeting to give a graduation speech, and the old man is just laughing too hard to fall asleep. And she is not helping me because she's 20, she's scared, she doesn't want her parents to separate or divorce. Ma'am, we're discussing the rezoning for the Portillo's. Do you have any comments on that? For what? What a fucking fantastic season finale there. The writers really outdid themselves with that plot twist. Who saw it coming? 
Now, all of the clues throughout the season make sense. Why the old man was laughing as hard as he was, despite Lisa's story not being all that comedic, makes sense because she was delivering this DiGiorno's personal pan life story in front of a council that was aiming to discuss a Portillo's rezoning. It had no place there. It's absurd. You can't help but giggle about that. It'd be like me going on America's Got Talent and reading excerpts from The Outsider's book. Or, or rather, it'd be like me dropping trousers, soft dick out, and pissing into a trash can, then calling my dentist to schedule an appointment for my dentist to come take out that trash. That's not what the dentist signed up for, that's not his job, that's not what he was looking for, and neither was this council, they just wanted Portillo's input, but instead, they got Lisa's entire story. We're discussing the rezoning on 53rd for... Well, I live on 63rd. Again, we're here to hear comments about the rezoning. Well, I don't like Facebook, and I don't like the Internet because I can't find a job. The library blocked my password. Now tell me, does that make any sense to you? Fuck no, that doesn't make any sense to me, Lisa. But, but how did they block your password? I've never heard of a library doing that. I, I feel like maybe you just forgot your password. I don't think the library has a grudge against you and is trying to shut you down from their internet access. It sounds like some Jason Bourne level shit. Like there's this command center at the library that has one super trained special operative that is just an expert at watching security cameras to identify if it's Lisa that just entered the building. Like some type of fucking national security alert. So then he sees Lisa come in, so he sprints to his boss and reports it. Jesus, Boss Franklin, she's here. So then the boss turns around in this giant office chair, puffing a cigar with sunglasses on, and he says, Shut it down. Shut it all down. May God have mercy on this library. But yeah, on the real Lisa, fuck Facebook. Ma'am, we're not here to discuss your personal life. I'm sorry. Do you have any comments about the rezoning? No, sir. Have Thank a good you. day. Thank you. Next. A peaceful resolution all around, pretty wholesome, honestly. I'm convinced that the council wanted to just let her go as long as possible, and they had this joke ready in their head like, this is for the Portillos, you know, this is going to be a great mic drop, let's, let's time this perfectly. And then they did. Hats off to the council for letting her go and then timing the Portillos mic drop for when they did. The timing couldn't have been any better. See ya.